What's happening guys, it's Dirty Dodger and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be having a look at Dead Space 2. Uh, I've already done Dead Space 1, uh, so if you check down in the description below, there'll be a link to the, the first game with the kind of walkthrough, talkthrough and general game chit chat, just uh, tricks and tips um, when I play the game. Uh, so if you haven't already, make sure you catch up with the story, but if you are fully aware, um, I won't say too much, but we've just left Aegis, Aegis 7. Uh, on a shuttle at the last game with where Isaac Clarke had his first encounter with the necromorphs and the marker and just kind of like the general kind of like story of what exactly is is going on Dead Space 2 is set three years after the events of Dead Space 1 so lastly in the game we left uh, the planet uh, and I guess we're going to kind of find out what happened in between leaving and uh, where we are, are up to this day. Like I said, it's the 10 year anniversary for Dead Space's release. Well, the original Dead Space, which was released in October 2008. And Dead Space 2 was released three years later in January 2011. Uh, it's kind of set in the kind of sci-fi horror survival uh, genre. It was created by Voice of Real uh, all these years ago. Like I was saying, uh, in the original um, series when we looked at Dead Space 1, it's just one of those games where, you know, I, I picked it up, I played it, and I absolutely loved it. And there's far, far, far and few beyond games that actually kind of uh, have that effect on me these days. So the ones that I do enjoy um, are kind of very special to me. And this is one of those uh, trilogy of games. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already checked out Series 1, like I said, look in the description below. Again, we're just going to play Series 2 uh, today and just have like kind of a general walkthrough, talk through. We'll just have a little look at the game for those of you that are perhaps interested in seeing what the game is like. Uh, but also try uh, and just uh, play the game on the hardest setting again because uh, why not? It's been years since I've played this game. And if you're checking this video out, hopefully it's been years since you've played it too. So... Come along with me, let's have a look back at Dead Space 2 for its 10 year anniversary. Yeah, I remember making some subtle changes to the, um, the menus, uh, the menu systems here. Oh, maybe it was on our new game plus. Start a new game from a cleared game. Suit and weapons will be from your ply Prior playthrough will be available in the first store. So it's, that's kind of like how we saved the last game once we completed it. Uh, and then when you go to the, instead of starting a new game, you can click on load in Dead Space 1. And you can load up the end of your first playthrough. And then you play through it again with all the same ammunition weapons. But you also got some goodies as well. I believe we got some power nodes and some credits. And a level 6 suit which became available. Uh, became available. Okay, so... Veterans are Dead Space players on the survivalist mode. We've got a Zealot, which at the minute appears to be the hardest mode. Remember, we played the last game on hard uh, until un un Impossible became unlocked. And it looks like for this game, you have to play Zealot through, or any of them through, actually. Uh, unlock on any any difficulty setting. So you can play any of the four difficulty settings there, and you'll unlock Hardcore. And I believe Hardcore is the one where you only get like a small amount of saves. Uh, but for us today... Why the hell not? We're going to start on Zealot. So just remember guys, this is set three years after uh, the events of Dead Space 1. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, I'll call you okay. back later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting out of range there, Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Look, I'm going to call you back as soon as I can, okay? Isaac, 
Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. And what did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? The little introduction kind of looked back at the first game. There. Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Very brief look back at the first game. Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Let's see what hellish nightmare this game produces for us, shall we? Let's see if we can get okay, through it. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? Alright, I, I know you're confused right now. But I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen. You're in terrible, terrible danger. Oh, Jesus, reminds me of one of those things from Starship Troopers. Sucks his brains out. <laughs> Nothing. Get out of the way, let's go. Imagine waking up to this. Oh, baby, run! Run, Isaac. We might as well just run through this level. This is not a drill. I definitely don't think so. The state of this place. Looking much better today, yeah? Don't you think? <laughs> it hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, no, no I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't care. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. Terminated. <laughs> Which one more? Listen to me, man. We'll 
matter. Listen to me. We can both get out of here. <laughs> just, just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Alive? Don't do it. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. Yes, it's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. Flashlight? You should grab them. I want to turn your back on him, mate. Red. You don't know what he'll do. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. We'll have the cue and pick up the flashlight. Isaac. We're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Right. <laughs> Lovely. Do you think he stained his top? Clark! Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on the age of seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. There's no one else to trust. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Press and hold B. Let's change this. Control last time. I hope these controls don't trip me up. Is that a. Get some of that just in case. Okay. Nice. Room full of dead people. that long since I've played this game. <laughs> Unlike Dead Space 1, I know that pretty well. This game, on the other hand, though. Well, we haven't got a weapon, so I doubt there's going to be anything coming at us just yet. So he's suffering some kind of dementia picked up from the uh, planet that we were on in the first game, ages 7. Oh, Jesus, so to say, considering the first game they used the vents to get around, so you really don't want to be crawling through the vents, do you, in the second game? Huh? Use the same tactics as I did in the first game. Remember, I was extremely tight with my resources, losing minimal health and saving as much as I possibly could in the first few rounds just to give me the edge later in the game. 
I might as well use health. Come on, hit the elevator, let's go. with us just in case we need it. Look at that. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I still got something out of him. <laughs> Where did everyone go? Is someone there? Anyone? Right, let's try and save this dude, shall we? Can anyone hear me? Uh, are you a doctor? Yes, I am a doctor. Jesus, man. Help me. Do you fucking help me? Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my god! Fuck. What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying! Oh man, that is slow as shit. Look around before we move on, just in case there's some uh, lockers. Oh, there's some plasma on the side there. Don't want to miss anything. Okay, so we've got ourselves a plasma car and kinesis module. Still going to use those same tactics if you can use a kinesis module on them and chance they're dead. It's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. Yeah, we know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. Thanks for the info. Do you not know who I am? What I've been through? You okay? Have a little look what we got around here. Do you remember on the, the first game? Um, we just played through the chapters, uh, and then when you died, you kind of just went back to like a, a mini. <laughs> Okay, just went back to like a, went back to a mini checkpoint, not an actual save point, so it'd be interesting to see just exactly how, where was that? Oh baby, I'm getting used to this. I hope I'll be able to grab his arms, but clearly not. Uh, where are we going to be going? Be located that way, so we'll go have a little look uh, over this way, just in case there's something we've left or missed. Oh, there was something. We've got some more plasma. 
But this plasma cutter is really slow shooter to start with. Can't wait to get some upgrades on this. Well. Turn the volume up on the mic just a touch. Where are we this way? Manual reload. Well, yeah, we know how to reload. Sounds like he's in clip just really quickly. Gonna oh, let me go back to that. I'm gonna go back to the visuals. We're gonna set that at 60. Okie dokie. Yes, let's go. Got 144 hertz monitor, but it's only set at 120 at the minute, I believe. So, no, we'll just play in 60. It's no biggie. Okay, we've got a text log. Oh, tab to open and read. Patients are becoming agitated and combative with us. As a result, the new uh, regimes of, uh, sorry, regimens of memory are raising drugs. They no longer remember who they were from day to day and must be convinced to leave their cells each morning. Many are so frightened they require sedation to get into the interrogation chamber. That sounds like a pleasant place. Orderly Gusetus, whatever that was. Whatever his name is, orderly someone was bitten three times by patient six, who now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. Okay, so it's tab to get rid of that, not escape. Otherwise, we go to the menu. I believe we just came out of that way, didn't we? So we shall have a little look around here. We've got some more plasma. Quite a lot of plasma everywhere. But honestly, it can't always can't hurt to always have excess ammo for your guns. Uh, I think the last game we played through, I just used the plasma cutter the whole way through. I mean, I've... Isaac, Isaac, come on, come on, the right hey, way. Wait, wait, who is? Who's after us? Wait, where did he go? Okay, we went that way. Let's go. Where is he? Hey, come back. Oh, you son of a bitch. There's a lot of flashy lights and a lot of noises going on. Come on, where are you? Oh, they're upstairs. They're downstairs in a minute. Go back. Any more for any more? Done. Cool. Just getting used to the controls again. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like huh. it or not, we're stuck together. Well, we ain't Tideman's friends. your enemy, not me. All right, I found you Ooh. a new route. Is that Fine. A, oh, a power node. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! That's it. Tideman's we'll come back for that. Okay, maybe not actually pick that up. We might as well read it now. Ah, oh, it's just a reception desk report. Oh, I keep pushing escape to quit that. It's tab. Uh, yeah, I haven't played this on both Xbox and... Uh... Oh, that's good. Look, that gives you... If you hold that up... Oh, I don't even know what I was clicking on then. Where was it? Ah, uh, that. The mouse wheel. It shows you how, how much total ammo you've got. And that shows you how much in a clip. Um, yeah, I haven't played this on both uh, Xbox and so now having a go on the PC. Uh, it's not a tremendous amount of difference in the game. The way it plays, to be perfectly honest. 
I never really experienced any bugs on Xbox. One thing happened to me on uh, a PC on Dead Space 1 while I was playing it. I kind of went to go on a lift. I came off the lift as it went up and I fell underneath the lift and fell somewhere <laughs> below the game level. God knows what happened. That's the only time I've ever experienced anything like that. But the one thing you get on here is you notice when I change the setting down for 120 hertz is you get that option to, to play at higher resolution at higher, higher frame rate as well, uh, which is always nice. Another text log, so we've got too many of these. Okay, the stasis uh, bed unit emitter array. Big words. Induction call is still not firing in sequence. Basically, oh, I keep pushing escape. Something in there is broken. Okay, go a little bit nearer. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, quite. You don't want to go near that, would you? It's got all kinds of wrong written all over it. One hit, whack! Okay, I was gonna grab the table and push him out of the way. Okie dokie, and now I know what I'm dealing with. One hit, one kill. Oh, let's see where it takes us back to. Okay, yeah, so we didn't go all the way back to the beginning of the level. That must just be for the hardcore mode. Uh, okay, we know what that says. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. No, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, dear. Uh. Okay, third time's lucky. Just getting used to the sensitivity on the mouse there. Obviously, I thought I'd aim and shot him, but clearly I missed him. Fantastic. I don't think there's any way I can do it any quicker than that. Just need to be a little bit more accurate. Anyway, yeah, this is one of the little mini games that they've introduced to the game where you get to kind of do the hacks on these, uh, on these panels. I mean, I haven't played this game in a while. I'll tell you what I'll try doing. I'll try using the stasis module on him now. <laughs> module on him now. I've got him. Uh, come on. Right. Let's see if I can go forward. Let's see what happens if I go forward. Oh. Let's put that there and stop him. There you go. That'll stop him. Definitely going to need to slow him down. Right, stasis. I got stasis recharge, yeah. Stasis module. 
obviously you just got the stasis module what is getting you to do there is use the stasis module <laughs> Duh. Jesus get off you Ooh, that shit looks infected. Ooh, nasty. Oh, baby, didn't see him there. Let's get back. Okay. Get off there, you. Right, what about you? Lovely. Maybe everyone's got credits even there. Okay, maybe not the people. Oh, another node. That's good. I don't think you got this many nodes early on in Dead Space 1. Okay, we've got 30. So yeah, we are in orbit around uh, Titan, which is one of Saturn's moons. Uh, which is pretty good. If you haven't seen this game, you'll enjoy the scenery later. Such a beautiful scene. Looking out what over the, the moon. Fuck? Oh no! Puncher, it's a, it's a. Oh, is it still a bit crazy? Oh, what the hell? I wonder if you could... Hey! Get well soon. Not today. Another text log. I love a good old text log. Let's see what this one says. Oh, slightly off to the ski with. There we are. Chairman Donovan. This is Dr. Brooks. I've said many times and I'll say again. I don't like the secrecy behind the new labs they've installed in the psych wing. It's been three years and we don't have the faintest clue what's going on. So secrecy has no place in an open and free society. Their networks are so isolated that we can't even tell they have one, let alone sift through it to see if anything unethical has taken place. If we don't get some traction on this soon, I'm going to Tideman. A system review of the policies. Damn it, I pushed escape again. Don't fall into that trap. Push tab to get rid of it. Okay, so that's the way we need to go. We'll just have a quick look around here. Nothing there. And we shall continue on. It's always worth just having a look in the opposite direction to the way you need to go. Because sometimes, like for example, that area is blocked off, you know. I might not be able to go that way. But if I need to go this way, there might be something uh, down that other way that will prove useful. Okay. See that? Uh, just like the first game there. I can't. Okay. Can't use this. He was alive. <laughs> Oh shit indeed mate. Okay. See I was I tried to tried to grab him with the uh, tried to grab him with the Kinesis module there, because I couldn't grab him is a good indicator that he's still alive. So obviously that's the same for the first game and the second game we've just found out, which is pretty useful. Uh, I couldn't quite remember if that was a, a thing or not in this game. But I've just proven that it has, so I will be employing that later. So, oh, okay, well there you go. I'll be employing it right now. Can't grab him with the Kinesis module. Hopefully, if I shoot him, he should. Should jump up, just like that. Okay. Oh, there's some extra Gucci credits there. See what this store's like. Jeez uh, Louise, what have we got here? Okay, let's have a look. We've got like a forge plasma car, a refurbished plasma car. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. God knows what we're using at the minute. Uh, let's have a little quick look. We'll just back out, or can we check our inventory to see what we've got? There it is. Plasma cutter, high energy mineral cutter. If we go over to the shop, 
we've got refurbished plasma cutter. That's that's the unlock there. That's basically just an unlocked uh, piece of content. It's probably exactly the same as the plasma cu plasma cutter I've got now. All it's got is the skin from the original game. If you if you fancy that. Oh baby, we've got some extra suits in there as well. I can't remember them ever having different variation of weapons when I played this game. So this is a floor, forged plasma cutter. It's an increased damage, but decreased reload. Don't want to buy that. Uh, as we go down here, we've got another plasma cutter, which is the opposite. So reduced 5% uh, reload, but increased in speed and firing. What I'm going to do is... Uh, can you increase the reload? You just don't know. Same for each of the other weapons by the looks of it. You can see there we've got the EarthGov Pulse Rifle, which is 10, minus 10 reload, but plus 5 on the damage. And uh, we've got an agility one, so obviously plus 5 speed, but the reload. Who would have thought reload would have been part of the agility? It's quite quick. Maybe I would have had, thought it would have had reduced damage. That's pretty cool. I can't even remember there being that on the, uh, the Xbox version. I might be completely incorrect. I probably am. And we've got all the suits on there as well. And we've got 12,000 credits. Uh, where's the prices of these things? Weapon bonuses. Let's have a little look. Secret rifle, pulse rifle, five damage. Purchase guarantees minimum of 15 inventory slots and 15 armor. Stasis bonus, 15 and 15. Stasis duration, 15, 15. Five percent decrease in stasis recharge time, 15, 15. I suppose you get to choose one of the kind of base level suits, by the looks of it. Line gun. We want something that gives us a bonus to the uh, uh, plasma cutter, really, don't we? Uh, 15, 15. Forged engineering. That's like the bog standard. Uh, oh, they don't cost any money, so by the looks of it. Maybe that's uh, downloaded content, perhaps. Okay. Well, I've got the plasma cutter uh, from the original game. What we'll do is we'll just, instead of taking these suits with the extra bonuses, we'll just play with the suits that I believe you get uh, on the kind of, without the downloadable content. But I'll cross-check that with the Xbox uh, once I finish this episode. So we will start with the engineering suit. Excuse me a sec. Sorry about that, the door went on, the only one in. Right, so we've got the suit, we've got the plasma cutter. Treat ourselves to the original plasma cutter. Yeah, heavy mineral cutter. I wonder if we can sell that. We'll just sell that, we don't need it. We'll play with the original plasma cutter, one of my favourite weapons. Probably my favourite weapon, <laughs> the favourite weapon of all. Okay. Of uh, course, this game isn't done in... Um, uh, chapters like the original game was. It's just going to be a case of be playing for so long and saving at certain points. I can't remember how long each of these uh, these ones are, so I'll probably save it just now. We've been playing for about 40 minutes or so. Um, we'll call that the the first chapter uh, as we get away from this. What is it? Like a hospital? Like an insane asylum? Who knows? Uh, what I'll do though is I'll check out. Was that saved? That was a quick save. <laughs> I'm going to have to double check that. It was saved. Okay. All right.
All right, we'll overwrite it. That's because it was a first save, that's why. Do I want to overwrite it? Oh, look, it's in the corner now. Yes. Cool. That's fine. All right, okay, anyway, guys. Right, well, excuse me for the, the iffiness there. I'm just talk, trying to get my head around the, the game and the controls. This is the first time I've played this on uh, uh, PC, actually. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go away and I'll cross-check the... Uh, uh, the suits and the guns uh, that we just saw in the store there. I don't want to give you any false information, but by the looks of it, it looks like they're uh, freebies downloaded because before I uh, started this, I did log into the uh, EA um, website once I launched the game, and I think it downloaded some extra content. I thought it was just a plasma cutter, but uh, I'll double check and find out. If that is the case, we'll just play through with the original items that you get in the original Dead Space 2 without any of the extra content. Uh, but we shall see anyway guys hope you enjoyed uh, chapter well chapter one whatever we're going to call it uh, make sure you check out the link in the description below where we will uh, where it will take you to obviously the the first playthrough for the first game uh, and yeah so i'm just getting grips with the second game uh, come back for the second episode uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit better i won't die as much uh, and yeah we'll, we'll continue on and see where the story takes us anyway guys uh hope you enjoyed uh Speak to you soon.